Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. So guys, it looks like we have another patch and some more downtime tonight. So let's check it out and see what's going on. So they will be holding downtime at 2 a.m. for 90 minutes. This patch will address the following. They've adjusted timing of the Sacred Ground Lifestyle ability in order to prevent the animation from being able to be cancelled. They've adjusted the requirements when speaking with Adiana and Eden Grove to ensure players can continue to launch the MSQ content, even if they detour into Brimstone Sands before completion. The following named AI have had their drops temporarily removed and instead relocated into Sarcophagi throughout Brimstone Sands. Primus Falco, The Manicore, Headmaster Matasha, Minos the Bull, Lamplighter, Amisha of the Dunes, Featherbane, Drynos Hylactor, Assessor Shadat, Guardian of Dias Polis, Imperial Ambassador Li Bei, Praetorian Simon Moro, Praetorian Jedzia Zajak, Praetorian Luca Bant, Praetorian Emiliano Malatesta, Creation of Aviva, The Sneak, and Queen Tabechet. Wow. These names that they give these things, I get that they're supposed to be like historical names, but whew, difficult to pronounce, I have to say. So in case you guys haven't been following, all of these bosses are basically insta-spawning, and people are farming them to death. So they've disabled them and moved their loot around into the chests around the area. I don't know. I wish they could just get this fixed, because being able to farm the bosses is kind of one of the things I enjoy about the game. I really don't like running chests, and I really don't like just digging through sarcophaguses all day. I get what they're trying to do, so we can't insta-spawn them and farm them like crazy, which I understand. So instead we only get one chance per day, and it's all just dumped right into the whole big giant loot pool of the sarcophagus. So I guess all the things I wanted from these guys are pretty much off the list until this is fixed. Although all I really wanted was the ring off of the creation of Aviva, but anyway. And the wooden coins were dropping from expeditions in an unintended manner. So they've been adjusted to now only drop from elite chests from level 60 plus elite points of interest. Players are now also limited to 10 wooden coins per day. They also fixed an issue with the scroll wheel target selecting healing mechanic no longer functioning after input spamming. They fixed an issue with crafting bonuses not always displaying correctly in crafting screens. And they fixed an issue where players could not sell or buy on trading posts due to a settlement storage full error. I have gotten that error and it's very very irritating. I had to end up taking the stuff out of my sword shed and then putting it back in order to get rid of it. I wasn't sure what was causing it. And they fixed a login issue. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Okay guys, well just a short one. Just wanted to let you know what's happening so you can be ready. Hopefully they get these guys fixed soon. Because having nothing to farm pretty much sucks. Also, because they've reduced the amount of wooden coins people are going to be getting, you might want to get to your marketplaces, purchase those wooden coins that are on there now because they're going to be going up in price. And if you have any, definitely take them off the market and don't sell them till after this. Okay guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.